Welcome to the episode number three on your ultimate guide on how to buy an Airbnb property in the Pinellas County, Tampa Bay area. We are your hosts, Luis Bedoya with Charles Schutenberg Realty and Austin Schumann with Revolution Mortgage. In the previous episode, we talked to you about location as well as legalities, pricing strategies and type of properties that we have. We're gonna be talking about more fun areas of our business such as furnishing our properties and renovating our properties. Which moments does it make sense for us to hire an interior designer to buy a house that's a turnkey home or another one that needs to be re remodeled? Today, we're gonna go through a few of our homes and show you exactly what a renovated home looks like and exactly how a well-furnished home and a cheaper furnished home is put together. Absolutely, guys. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at one of our example units located here in Largo. Let's go ahead and show it to you. Come on in. So, Austin, this house is about 2,200 square foot of living space. Obviously okay. it has a private pool that has been recently done wow. and has a jacuzzi on it. It's very nice. Absolutely. So we got upstairs, some living space, which we'll show you soon. And as you come into the house, we've had this first living room decoration. What do you think of this area? I love it. My question is, has this been professionally staged? No, nope. this wow. is this has been done by the property owner, my the investor who purchased this house, because she has really good taste and the ability to do these things. But at the end, we still brought Lisa, my interior designer, in here, and she gave us a couple more more pointers and more ideas on how we could set up the layout on this house. And I picked this guitar. I love it. <laughs> It goes well with the space. Yes, we wanted to make this somewhat of a Spanish style house. Now, can we talk about these pocket doors for a moment? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay guys, so in my unit um, in Seminole, I have a pocket door that's like this. And so if you see these pocket doors, this one is functioning properly, but a lot of the times these can come off the tracks and you know, unfortunately we had an older lady get trapped in the bathroom. And so when you are gonna be inspecting your house, if you're looking at a house to purchase and they do have a pocket door, just make sure to test that pocket door a few times. Act like you've never seen a pocket door before. Wiggle it back and forth. Make sure that it's gonna stay on there. And if it does get broken, what we did instead is so we hung a barn door, mm -hmm. the sliding barn doors instead. So that way guests don't get trapped in there because they get a little freaked out. All right. Well, that's a great tip, Austin. Thank you for that. But man, Look at this. <laughs> All right, here's another, here's a good point here. How many guests are allowed to stay in this house, Lisa? I believe it's 12 right now. 12 guests, so let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then we have four seats here at the bar, so you can hold 14 people. Mm -hmm. That's key, guys. If you're gonna have 10, 12 people, you need to make sure that you're able to sit all of your guests. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Now, guys, in this episode today, we're also going over furnishing and remodeling your unit. So if you were to look at this listing before it was purchased, you would notice that this kitchen was recently upgraded as well as the appliances have been added to the house. So we went ahead and changed the appliances. We kept the same countertops. We added this granite bay. Love it. And we added this mosaic backsplash here, which looks really nice. Yeah, we have a beeping sound there from the from the cleaning machine, but look, attention to detail. These are the, th the things that I like to see. Somebody took the time to set these up in that way, and I like that, right? Very good. Same with this, the ball is there. Oh, you even got the line right here for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, bullseye! That was actually pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and take a trip to the exterior of the house, which is one of the most fun places Oh, I love One this of the fun things. areas. This is what you're supposed to a nice find bar. when you're at an Airbnb. And on this unit, we do have to shut the water off since the water is already full. Our pool is already full. As you can see, it's overflowing just a little bit. So these are the things that I, me as a realtor, sometimes take on from my clients 
I guess I want to make sure that everybody's taken care of. All right. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Luis, but looking at this pool, it looks different than mine. Is this a pebble finish instead of a marquee finish? Uh, yeah, that is correct. So as you can see, what Austin is referring to is the quality of that pool reef surface, that pool surface, which is not the average Marquise quality that we find. But take a look at this, guys. We set up this pergola here. Very nice sitting area. You got more bar stools over there. When you come up here, you have a heated jacuzzi 24 seven. So this space is always heated. And eventually, we also wanna do some more work out here. Add more stuff to it. Not sure what, we have thought about maybe adding a little golf course, just making a little one, yeah, I think that's perfect one home, right you know? Yeah, why not? And make this a, a more of a golfing community type home because it is a golfing community. So Austin, let's go take a quick look at the, at the rooms upstairs. Okay. And then we'll head over to our second property, one of your actual Can't wait properties to that you, you bought. And I'm gonna be asking you about your experience, Austin, because as we were talking about it yesterday, you went through this yourself. This is yep. something that you had to go through. Yes. Finding the unit, purchasing it, going through the um, appraisal, the inspections, the negotiations, then furnishing the place, yep. getting the listing done, finding the right managers, figuring out where to buy. You've yep. made all of the mistakes Guys, already. That I've already made all the mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's right. You don't need to make any of them. So let's go ahead and meet everyone upstairs. I like to touch on that a little bit. So when I first got into Airbnb, I didn't have all this support. You know, what we did have was some YouTube videos and yes, they did help out. And so what we're trying to create here, guys, is an experience for you as well to just push you five steps ahead of everybody else that's trying to get into the space that they don't know, you know, they don't have the answers to the questions and they don't have hands-on experience. And that's what we're trying to provide you here is hands-on experience. So that way you can put your best foot forward. You were telling me yesterday that last time you were here looking for your units, you spent a lot of time shopping. Yep. You had to bring a whole team of people to come and help you. Yes. And that's exactly what you said. You, we didn't have this amount of support that we have now in 2023. Very now, true. Yep. We've gotten to the point that at the inspection date, we've already got an, a property manager and an interior designer looking at your house and coming up with a game plan so that on closing day, everything is ready to go. It's the same thing happening with my clients right now that are buying a property, an Airbnb that's worth $1.7 million. They embedded all the furniture into the deal so yep. that the property is gonna be on the platform within days and let's of it talk being about closed. That. that payment is probably over $5,000 a month. And so by having your Airbnb set up faster, you're actually saving more money. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it took 30 days just to get the Airbnb set up, about another 30 days just to get it all put together, the listing put together and everything online. Mm -hmm. So I was already two monthly payments in, maybe $10,000 out of my pocket instead of making money. So instead it is of very making money. Speed there will important. be months where you need to make money in those months. So we, it's important as yes. well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next property. Stay tuned. We'll see you then. Hey guys, welcome to my third house that we bought in Pinellas Park. Check out this house, come with me. We just had a new management team set this thing up. They put up these new flowers, which just makes us pop from the street. It's gorgeous. Okay, come on in. Guys, before we walk in, I wanna to talk to you about this lock real quick. This lock, this style of lock is amazing. Um, this one, my property manager can unlock it straight from his phone. So if there's any, you know, the guest is putting in the code wrong, someone's dyslexic, whatever, they can just let them right in. So come on in. Here's yep, that's light. a beautiful sledge that most of the good property managers will know to install in your property. So guys, I kind of learned my lesson, as you saw at the 507 house, kind of learned my lesson a little bit and I took advice from my property manager about this wall having an accent wall, something that pops in the photos. But look at how well this is staged. Let's Johan get some more light in here. here. Yep. yep, turn on some more here. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we had these ugly blue cabinets. We just had them painted white. They pop so much better. They look a lot better. They don't come out purple anymore. 
the glassware, everything is new. We bought a ton of new stuff again for this place. Oh, I love that Johan does this. Yes, this is, what I'm this is what I'm talking about. It's the little touches that we were talking about. Look at this. Just with the paper towels, right? Look at this. It's like, here's all you, you don't even have to look for them. As soon as you come, you know you can do, get everything done. Trash bags are laid out there. Yep. And Johan, I, I really love that about Johan, especially in such a young man. I, I just can't believe he's so good at this. All right, so we have a, a room here. What is this, a guest room? This is a guest room. I like that we have a TV. I would love to, for this. So my friend, I've noticed, you, you need to buy bigger TVs throughout your places <laughs> at one point. So guys, these are the things that we, we call sure. them. We call them stages um, A, B, C. So one stage is how do we get this property running? But then there comes a point where we can start taking some of our profits and just improving little things. Now we always wanna make sure that they make sense, that those improvements, those additions, those costs are gonna be reasonable and make sense and up your cash flow. Guys, one of the biggest reasons I bought this house was this backyard area. Look how big this pool is. It goes down all the way to six foot deep. Mm, nice. Yep. I got this all screened in now. So it's all screened in. It's nice. You don't have any bugs to worry about. You can just come out and enjoy yourself. You don't have any of those no seams. You know what I'm talking about. Those no seams that are bothering me the whole Trust time. Me, I know. have the barbecue out here. I got this window here. This slides open. Oh, that's so you, great. Yeah. So you can have the party inside, the party outside. And then a couple of re relaxation areas in the back here. And we're gonna do a couple of putting greens back here eventually. Um, guys, I wanna to talk to you about the grills. The grills real quick. A tip here, don't spend a ton of money on a grill. Get something like this, propane. Doesn't need to be a pellet grill. We had to learn our lessons on that. We had pellet grills and it was just a huge thing. It was, uh, how do we use the grill? What do we do here? Where do we get pellets? These kind of things. So propane, just keep it simple. Keep it simple, silly, okay? That's the KISS method. Check this out. Nice little area to sit. We got an outside dining area. Absolutely. And by the way, Austin, there. Yeah. Uh, folks, outdoor dining areas, utterly important to have on your Airbnb units. Yep. A little, another key tip of furnishing your properties. Why else right. are you in Florida besides to enjoy the outdoors, right? Mm -hmm. So another thing that I can suggest you do, Austin, here, let me, do, let me give you this tip and give it to the whole audience that I'm foreseeing right here. You could actually install a couple more fans up here. Some of those metallic, metallic fans. You can just set them up here so people can turn those on. You've seen them? Yep. You know which ones I'm talking about? We do have this fan, but yeah, we no, can get we better No, we need more fan here. Um, trust me, a little bit more fans and a TV. A TV outside, yes. I agree, a TV right there. All right, but again, these That's are the That's the beauty, guys. That... You keep coming back to your properties. You improve them. You're making them better. Mm -hmm. You take in your Oops. guest reviews. You got to turn that, turn that knob. Oh, there you go. <laughs> forgot, forgot how to upgrade it. That's all good. Okay, Look, hey, what, are we guys going going there? what is this? The secret room? Oh, <laughs> that's the room that we've already been in. It's just that this room is, it looks it's so an flush. Addition. It's an addition. Uh, that's so cool. Listen, you know what I think? What? You should have this door painted with something interesting in it. Okay. That could be a thing. Guys, when I got into this place, we had holes here. We had a head a lot of stuff redone in this place, and I paid 55,000 over asking. So. 55,000 dollars over asking, over asking price. price. Check out the garage, we had the floors redone. There's a couple of scrape marks, but you can't cry over those. I went ahead nice, with, Austin. with my manager's advice and got some bikes. Nice. Nothing brand new, they don't need to be new, but just some bikes to bike around town. Of course. The, the guests are gonna come yep. and see the wear and tear and say other people have enjoyed these bikes. That's Guys, good. the home gym, check it out. Doesn't need to be anything insane. Just throw in a little bench press, throw in a little squat rack. My wife and I, we love working out, especially my wife. She's a strength training coach, that's what she does. Mm -hmm. So she uh, needs a place when she comes to work out. That's why hotels have workout stations as well. So come on. Absolutely. Come with no, no, no. And you know what I also noticed is that you've sort of painted this area. Did you do all these touches with the red on top? So that was already there before, but yeah. Gotcha. I mean, this is, at the end of the day, guys, you're still in a garage, right? So right, but I like that, that like at least there's, it's not just one blended color. You have just yeah. a pop of, of something yeah. in there. It's got some character, right? Like the decoration, let's just take a quick look at, you know, the rest of the place, the deco we have. It's a beautiful couch. Usually oh. we do have one couch with accent walls. I'm sorry, with accent chairs. 
nice deco, nice feel. Again, all those anchors, the, the vibe, the ocean vibe, it's definitely present. We have a double bed here in this room. So we can sleep four people in this one. And we get, as we saw, a master bedroom. That's really nice. Got a king bed, I believe, Austin. And guys, check yep. out this bathroom. Yeah, you know? check it out. Check out this, this bathroom. Austin has been making money with this property for a good while now. Just show him my refurbished and, bathroom in here. And we go through so many listings a day and we're always complaining. The bathrooms are not remodelable. Look, this is working right now, guys. Take it out. Take a look at this. This is working out. Austin, one thing I do recommend that you could do here in this bathroom, easy, inexpensive, and will add a lot of, of nice feel to it is clean the grouts. Clean those grouts. And guys, we gotta be really, what do you call this? You can't, you can't be emotional at this business. You have Up to here. Check hear out it. this reaper. You're gonna yeah. hear things that you don't wanna hear sometimes. That is normal. Sorry, Austin, I'm gonna finish. Also with these grouts. It's little things, Austin. And again, I don't mean to, to bring up bad stuff from my property, but I just want us to be as, as truthful because I know my viewers appreciate that we're so yeah. honest. Well, the on guests what are gonna see at. what you're seeing too. That's the thing. Uh huh. Well, well, they're not coming in here with those eyes. Yeah. But if there's if somebody stays here for a month, they oh, might potentially see that. Hello. All right, guys. So we actually have guests that you saw. Hey right. guys. At this reservation, hey. so we're about to leave. What's up, buddy? Our business. Good. Hey, Hello. here's a property manager. One thing I do have to add, guys, is when I was looking for homes, I only had 45 days to get something. And there wasn't much available. <laughs> and so I had to get into something over asking. Uh, the reason why I had 45 days, I sold some land. I had to make, I made money on it with the 1031 exchange. To defer my taxes, I had to buy something within 45 days or yeah. identify my property within 45 days. I do 1031 exchange loans, by the way. Hit me up if you're selling an investment property, maybe a, a long-term rental. That's right, Revolution Mortgage. We can convert that into something like this. That actually, that actually uh, means that the Mercedes. Income, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, folks. So we're gonna get out of here and take a look at a couple more landmarks in the city. I hope you're enjoying this video today. We wanted to have a nice, easy-going day. Just make videos with you here. Hope you're enjoying your ultimate buyer's guide: how to find the perfect Airbnb in the Pinellas County, Tampa Bay area, with your hosts Austin Schumann and Luis Bedoya. Let's go ahead and continue driving through the town. See you guys soon. Hey guys, today in this episode, we talked about renovating properties and furnishing properties. And we showed you a few examples of a good renovation and maybe one that should be more renovated. Awesome, well, if you like what you saw in today's episode, I hope you can like this video, subscribe to our channel. If you have questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe. We're a couple of professionals that we're excited to help you find the right properties, to help you be successful in your business. So we look forward to getting to hear from you and see you in the next episode where we're going to be talking about management and pricing strategies. Stay All tuned. Right? Let's take a look.